Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today is a very special day because it's time for the Rolex Daytona in green doubt. Very cool watch, amazing piece and we really have a lot to talk about this particular piece. We have seen this watch going crazy on the market. You know, I think it's been on the market since 2016, if I'm not mistaken. So please let me know in the comments below. This is a watch that you used to find on the showcase, but I think since 2018, the demand is being crazy. You can find this watch anywhere. We even thought it was gonna be discontinued this year. So a lot of stuff happened and ended up, uh, you know, skyrocketing the price of this particular piece on the secondary market to up to $100,000. This is super crazy, very cool watch. And I actually have seen people, uh, very influential people like, you know, like celebrities, just like uh, Jonah Hill. We also have seen uh, Adam Levy from Maroon 5. I have seen also the supercar blondie wearing the watch and also this guy right here. <laughs> I love I love his videos though very cool videos he makes on YouTube also so hi hi to him I think it's from the UK but this is a very cool watch very interesting I want to say first of all thank you very much to my friend who lent me this watch if you can see in the video this is before I get the calls my friends this is not a watch from the store this is already a watch that has been worn for a long time if you can see here is, you can see some of the scratches on the watches I will show you right now but anyways let's take a look at this very cool watch and let's talk a little bit more about it all right so this is now time to take the watch outside of the box and there's really a lot to stuff that we have to talk about this watch very cool watch amazing looks of course the main thing uh, of the watch will be the green dial that before i think uh, colors were not like the main thing like people uh, in fashion but now colors are like the best thing you can have in fashion you don't even have to match anything so now this is a, one of the pieces that i really like a lot because of the green dial with the yellow gold very interesting piece um, in terms of the description of the watch we already have we have a chronograph um, it also have its 40 millimeters other thing that i like of course is the new mechanism uh, i think it was 72 hour power reserve so this is great I think we have enough power reserve so we can use it through the weekend, take it out on the week, you know, through the week and take it on the weekend and still work on Monday. This is one of the things that I always, always talk about the power reserve. It's also waterproof, 100 meter water resistant. In terms of the chronograph, you guys already know it's, it's kids for like, uh, like racing. So very nice piece. I uh, think you can find a lot of stuff on how to use the chronograph. Um, just to make it quick, it actually measures speed, so it, it measures up to 400 um, miles per hour or kilometers. At the end of the day, the only thing you have to do is when a car is running, you press the chronograph and then whenever it stops, I think it's, um, I don't know if it's a mile or a quarter of a mile, I need to research a little bit more about that. But you guys already know, I don't care about the mechanisms. I have never used my mechan uh, you know, chronograph in any of my watches, but the point is just to describe a little bit what it does. So. When the car is running, you start a chronograph and whenever the track ends, you stop the chronograph and it's going to tell you the average speed up to 400 uh, miles per hour and kilometers. This is one of the things that I actually, uh, you can check on the Rolex page. But the point of the watch is the craziness of the market. Very amazing piece. I have never seen anything before in this particular watch. I actually made a video. I think what I, I was one of the ones that actually thought this watch is going to be, it was going to be discontinued. Of course, we find out it was not discontinued, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be soon. So let's see what's going to happen on the market once it's discontinued. But for now, I think we're still going to have it at least for a couple of more years, at least for one or two years more, hopefully, because I'm still uh, wish to have one of these in my collection. I don't think I will do it soon, but let's see what's going to happen. Please tell me what you think about the watch. Tell me, have you seen it in person? You can see the dial. It's a very cool, very amazing piece. This is something, um, it's like the Oyster Perpetuals. I don't know if you have seen it, but if you have seen it, it's a different type of green. It's like a matte green. This is, this is more like a slate. Uh, I think it's sunburst. This is how they call it. It's a sunburst green dial. Very cool piece. It, it shines a lot on the, on the light. You can see it on the video, but please tell me what do you think about this watch? Do you think it's going to be discontinued? You think it's going to, uh, 
you know, stay with us on the market for a few more years. To me personally, I don't think it's going to happen. But what happened is, I think a lot of celebrities, like the ones that I mentioned before, they started wearing those watches and this is when people start looking into that particular piece more than before. So this is one of the reasons you used to find it on the showcase. Now it's impossible to find it on the showcase and I think, and from all the Daytonas that I've seen, personally, I think this particular watch with yellow, gold and green dial will be the hardest Daytona to find, you know, besides the stainless steel watches. Of course, if you go to the rainbows, that's a completely whole different story, of course, right? But this is kind of like the great price and great, you know, in this particular model. So I really love the watch. I love the looks. I love what's happening on the market. Even though I know it's crazy, I will never recommend any of my customers or my friends to pay anything over retail. You guys can always let me know. Contact me on the links below. Tell me what you're looking for and hopefully I will be able to help you build your collection. You guys already know I can help you with Hublot, Montblanc, Cartier, uh, Tahoe, Bulgari, Gucci, and many other brands, including diamonds and Montblanc stuff like this stuff like here. So I think that's pretty much I have to say about the description of the watch, including the you know 40 millimeters, uh, chronograph, and all that stuff. The price is thirty-six thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. So of course it's. I will say it's a little bit expensive for majority of uh, the people but if you really take in consideration the market value of the watch is always worth it so i will, I will sell everything just to get the watch <laughs> but i don't think that's going to happen to me especially because i'm here right but let's see what's let's see what is going to happen thank you very much to my friends for letting me do the watch before you guys call me this is not a watch on sale this is not a watch that i have in stock this is not a watch that i have on the store and i didn't sold it from the store so please don't get crazy just take in consideration this is one of my uh, friends collectors watches and he always let me some of their pieces so i can uh, record him that's that's great from him but anyways very cool watch daytona i think i have never seen this this watch because i think one of my friends showed me a picture he found on the internet that one of the guys changed the bracelet i will never do that especially in a gold piece uh to a rubber like a green rubber or something it looked nice but man it's a it's a very cool watch too you can uh, to mess it up like that but it's really depends of the customer it really depends of the collector how they like their watches and well i think that's pretty much it i have to say let's see what's going to happen on the market with this watch i really hope to see it here in person more you know than before so this is the watch on the rolex page and you can see the price it's only thirty six thousand six hundred and fifty. i will show you some of the pictures that i found on the gray market and you guys can see this is a really crazy uh, price in terms for a used watch but let's see i think pretty sure this one of the watches in the future are going to be worth more so let's see what happened i also saw a lot of people who thought they're going to be discontinued these guys were resellers so they were just trying to find this watch everywhere and i'm pretty sure a lot of them overpaid for the watch because they thought it's going to be discontinued and now they ended up uh, keeping the watches and of course they're gonna sell anyways but we don't know if they're gonna sell for a hundred thousand dollars at least now let's see what's happening in the future hopefully uh, people who have these watches in their collections they can start you know appreciating more of the piece because they know this watch is going to increase in price with time probably but anyways thank you very much for watching guys this is a very cool watch please tell me what you think about this particular model uh tell me you have seen it in person i think the dial looks amazing especially with the red contrast uh, on the sub dials i think it looks really nice you have the loom also and of course 18 karat gold that's amazing all watches right now including gold prices gold pieces are you can find that for over the retail price on the secondary market and this is one of them especially i think this is one of the most wanted uh gold watches from rolex but tell me what you think and tell me if i'm wrong and if i'm missing something i would really appreciate it for you to let me know and if you like this type of videos enjoy watches subscribe to my youtube channel to be on top of every model that is going to be released from different brands and um, that's pretty much it give us a like it's free man see you next time